Good morning. It's November the 9th, 2017. Time to kick off another trading day. Hypothetical or simulated performance results have certain limitations, unlike an actual performance record. Simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have under overcompensated for the impact of any of certain market factors, such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the factor designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. Okay, um, the only two stock markets in the world that are up are Shanghai and Hong Kong. Europe, the EU sold. <coughs> UK, the E-mini is down. Um, I believe the biggest motivating factor in the uh, selling is Trump's tax package. Um, I know there's... I know there's at least five senators who said they can't vote for it as is. And the rally uh, since November the 9th has been based on significant changes to our tax law, significant tax cuts. And while the tax cuts for business are significant uh, for individuals, they just kind of reshuffled the deck. The uh, top 10% of the taxpayers probably see their taxes go up. <clears throat> all things considered. And Congress does what they normally do. They cap deductions and the cap on the deductions absorbs all of the um, deductions that are taken. I mean the uh, yeah, I mean they give you a, a great big deduction and that absorbs all the deductions that they've taken away from you. That cap is going to be hard to move upwards uh, because of inflation and the rest of that. And so a year, two years, five years, however long it takes, um, all of a sudden you find that um, yeah, your taxes have gone up significantly. So it's, it's what Congress does. They um, speak out of both sides of their mouth. Uh, basically, it is a uh, uh, organization that... Um, make sure that they're taken care of first and that more and more dollars have to pass through the Washington turnstile to um, um, get back out to the economy. So I think it's a tax package and the comments by uh, Republican senators that are behind the um, stock market selling myself. Uh, no news to speak of overnight. Japanese economic uh, watcher sentiment was up. German trade balance was up and that was it. Nikkei was another factor mentioned that had an 860 point plunge before it started to recover. So um, down to whether what Trump can get out of his tax package and Trump is getting very very little help from the Republican Party. Uh, he's being tag teamed by the House and the Senate. With the Senate being the bad guys right now and John McCain taking the lead with lead with that. So, three-year auction prices were up, deemed mediocre. Ten-year auction uh, prices finished weak. After that, that's usually the auction where the market goes down. Thirty-year auction typically is sideways to higher into the auction to move the paper. Well, right now, it looks like we're selling. Uh, today's news, wholesale trade plus three tenths. No one will pay any attention to it. Nat gas inventory is up 15B. So we'll put our first buy at 01 to 29. Let them get stops underneath the buck. They can't move the paper in a down market. 21.25 by 2. And we'll see if we get them. 7 to 11, sell 1. 15 to 19 sell 2. This high volume number right here is at 4.5, so a structural sell would be 2504.
Looking at the 30-year, uh, which is uh, today's auction, under more pressure. So number one support, 20 to 24, buy 13 to 17. Run it down before the uh, day session opens. Come back in and buy it up. That's another way the dealers uh, manipulate the market. Five to nine for number two. And quite often we'll find that X um, or W will set the high or the low. That's that last little push uh, by the trading community. Um, the buck to 04, number one, so a 31 to 03 sell on that. 7 to 11 is our preferred sell, sell one. Picking up this area right here. And 15 to 19, sell two. Boy, the news that we see printed on the UK is um, coming apart at the seams. The death of a great civilization. Not going to be able to pull it off. And my guess is, is that the UK, after this change is absorbed, will be able not only to sell in the EU, but they'll be able to uh, sell different standard uh, goods and goodies to the rest of the world. So, not saying there won't be some pain during the transition for those that are dependent upon the EU's rent sinking from the EU, but well, yeah, it would be ta uh, if the banks and everything moved to Frankfurt and Paris and all those operations go. But Frankfurt and Paris don't have a hundred years history of running the world's, two hundred years worth of history, three hundred years of history of running the world's money. London does. Okay, looking at gold, weakness in stock markets, Saudi Arabia, uh, most of the articles are on Saudi Arabia right now, they're at the tipping point. Civil War. Or the transition begins, the start of a new Saudi Arabia. Uh, the arrests over the weekend, the freezing of the bank accounts has taken the money away from those that would uh, challenge the new king. Uh, there was an article out yesterday that the old king is about to appoint him as the king. But uh, he's removed a lot of the elements that... Um, uh, could take him down, taking the money away from them. The Wahhabis. The people that are taking down right now, uh, they're in it for the money, but the Wahhabis aren't. That's a religious ideology. And that and the true believers that follow that see great damage being done to their country by even talking about the proposed changes. So. Uh, most of the articles coming out, uh, we're moments away from a civil war breaking out in Saudi Arabia. I hope they're wrong. But the news out of Saudi Arabia, I think, is going to have a big impact on the price of gold. So uh, we are subject to news spikes to the upside in gold based on Saudi Arabia and what's going on over there. Don't forget that. So right now, resistance is at 90 to 95. We got this high volume number up at 91. So we're there. Maybe that's that last little run up. So 88 to 90, coming just inside of those numbers right there. Sell one. 94, 96, sell two. On the buy side, uh, 84, 86, buy one, 79, 81. If we get down this, maybe SOPs beneath the uh, Globex low for buy two.
I mean, the problem when you you go in and you really change things around, those that like it just the way it is have the most money and the most clout at that moment in time. <coughs> they pretty effectively can fight a delaying action. And it's a lot cheaper to get the government to pass laws to protect your market share than it is to in innovate new products, new marketing, whatever. That's where we find ourselves today. They say that dollars given to politicians can be 100,000% returns in a very short period of time. A politician needs $100,000 to stay in office and uh, got a corporation that can write that for just a little change in the tax laws. Uh, you need the money right now. Oh, we, we need this change in tax laws. And they get it and they get these, or, you know, market share protected or whatever it happens to be. That's really how the business is done. So the lobbyist and the rent sinking crony capitalists know when the politicians are over a barrel and they will exploit that. Okay, we have a B right here, pretty pronounced selling. Uh, the volume is above time. You've got a P split right here, which meant we should have rechallenged either this two letter ledge right here or that X right there, and you can see that we've done it. And we were pulled to this high volume area right here at 64. So 65, 75, so one. Uh, 1690, 117 even, sell two. Uh, 25 to 35 by one, picking up this area right in here. And 16 even, 16 10 by 2. Crude oil. Saudi Arabia, the problems there, the uh, OPEC meeting on November the 30th, the official announcement. They're expecting the current quota to be rolled to through the end of the second quarter. Um, the uh, selling, the initial selling that came yesterday was based on the increased production on the United States. I think, I want to say 9.6 million barrels, but I could be wrong on that. Uh, the spike late in the day was blamed on uh, trading algorithms, just cranking it up and gr I, I, who knows. Uh, but we do have bees behind us, and you can see that in this congestion area. You can see that there's more volume here. Uh, right here, pretty clearly a bee. And right now it's a bee, so uh, maybe stops below 56.50. So we'll play for these bees behind us right here, 25 to 50 by 1, 55, 75, 56 even by 2, and we're going to put a question mark right here at 70, 75. On the SL side, 57, 57 and a quarter, it's where resistance is. A limit sell at 57.01, right up against that number would be a structural sell. Um, next structural sell would be at 57, basically 57.75. <coughs> the attractor's up here at 57.10, 11. Uh, right down here, uh, that would pick up our buy number two, a limit buy right above that high volume number. Uh, this number right here, 56 and a quarter. Uh, is also in play. So we've got this area right here is support number one. That picks up our buy one and this area down here is support number two. And that picks up our second buy area. So trying to get a couple of things structurally going for us.
So trying to 57.50, 57, finish this out here so we can read it, 75, cell 2. You've got the structural points that we were talking about. But the OPEC announcement, uh, large institutions are willing to give, I mean, they're already in the business. I mean, they're not really sticking their neck out. And they're not really giving up trade location when you think about it. They're already long, whatever it is whatever market we're talking about. But they, before they adjust the portfolio or make long-term changes, they want to know what the new fundamental news will be. And that's why they'll wait for the FOMC announcement. They'll wait for the non-farm payroll numbers. They'll wait for the OPEC announcement on November the 30th. And uh, you just, you, you really have to deal with that mindset for a while before you start, before you can really appreciate it. Um, if you're in the cattle business, you're in the cattle business. If you're in the crude oil business, you're in the crude oil business. And whatever the long-term prospects are for that industry are your prospects. You can delay the pain for a year, year and a half, but then it costs too much money. Okay, we're getting some pretty good selling in the E-mini um, right now. Got this volume down here at 72. Now a 20-point correction. 20 points from 94 takes us to 74. A um, in bull markets, 50 to 70 points. So 50 points takes us to 44. 70 points takes us to 24. So we've got basically 75, and then 50, and then 25 as potential trading targets. In the um, E mini, and it's my guess that the lack of progress or the uncertainty about the uh, tax package is what's taking the market down. Uh, so right here stops below 75, 75, 77 by one. I mean, we're right there. 70, 72 by two. I think the first trade is a sell. Uh, I was hoping to sell the 84, 86 area, but it might be 79 to 81, sell one. 84, 86 will bring it down a nickel. The preferred sell was up here in the 90 area, picking up that. 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 Picking up that resistance right there structurally, but I don't, we're pretty far away from that right now. So 79 to 81. How quickly things change. Okay, going to take a bit to get everything up and posted. Going to get busy on that. Back with you as soon as possible.